Okay, this is the virtual lab for the iodine test for starch. And I have six test tubes here. Number one is water, number two is sucrose, number three is potato juice, number four is milk, number five is egg white, number six is an unknown. And then I also have um, paper towel and pasta. So to start with, you need to um, write down your hypothesis, basically a statement saying which of these do you think will, um, has which of these substances has starch in it. And then you're going to write, have a data table, and you're gonna um, write down the color of each substance after I put in the iodine. So I'm gonna put in three drops of iodine on each substance, and then you need to record the color, and then you need to mark on there whether or not starch is present. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So the first one is water, and I'm just gonna add three drops. One, two, three. And as you can see, it is an amber color. This is sucrose, one, two, three, and once again, it's just amber color. Number three is potato starch, one, two, three. And as you can see, it is, it actually um, it's hard to see, but there's blue specks in it, but it's it's not um, amber anymore. It has, um, it's kind of a tinge of blue. This is milk. So I'm put in three drops. One, two, three. So this is milk. And it didn't turn blue. I don't see any blue in it. It's just kind of a milky yellow amber color. This is egg white. And this one's going to be hard to mix. Um, once again, it's just a yellow color. There's no blue in there. This is the unknown. And no blue, just kind of a yellow again. Um, this is paper towel. I'm just putting one drop and it's kind of brown. I don't see any blue in there. And then this is the pasta. And you can see it's hard it's hard to see again, but it turns definitely all a blue color. So the pasta turns blue. Okay. So those are the results. Um, for your report, you need to have a hypothesis, your data table, and you need to answer the analysis question. And also, um, I added a question on the report. So go on to Google Classroom, and you'll find the report, and you need to complete it, and then turn it in.